You're all right there, huh? Excellent. That'll be easy to get you to your breakfast. I'm going to release them up the laneway. You're going to have to get out of the way, Mustard. Yeah. You don't want to get stampeded. Yeah. I have a matching cat and matching dog. Yes. They stampeded all the way to their breakfast with the help of miniature sheepdogs. I have to close these gates. Java, leave it. I've got very expensive gate stops, an old log. So yesterday we had our crowd for tea and was very successful. Everybody enjoyed the tour of the garden. They didn't get a tour of the farm because they were here for such a short time. But I think everybody enjoyed themselves. Thank goodness. Isn't that right, dogs? You good girl. But they were all, the dogs didn't enjoy it because they were locked away. When you have crowds that size, you can't have so many dogs
Okay, come on, ladies. Brindle, leave it. There's fewer snuffling up some leftovers. That lamb's found a nice piece of grass munching on it. A wood pigeon calling. Or it was until I pointed the video towards it. These beech trees were planted by my grandfather. Okay, come on. Come on, ladies. Java, leave it. Java, Java. I said, leave it. Good boy. Leave it. Uh, leave it. Good boy. Now, uh, uh, where are you going? I said leave it. Come on. We leave some for the birds. Good girl, Brindle. I had the lambs in a different field over when this was being used as parking. So they're all gathered around the mineral lick, mm. catching up on what they missed for 12 hours or less. Though they have a water tank. All heading to the shade of the lime tree. That lime tree, for some reason, is sheep's favorite lime tree, historically. They always gather under that one. There's a second one further along. That's a lime tree there. But this is the lime tree that flocks always gather under. Oh, hey! hey you! What you want? Yeah! How are you? You beautiful kitty! <laughs> Mustard's getting involved in everything today. After all that work for the uh, tea party yesterday, I think I'm going to take a day off. Just enjoy life, read my book, sit around, hang out with the animals and the cats. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Just take it easy, because it's been non-stop all summer long. So I need a day off. No, you're not to scratch me. Hmm? Just because I'm not doing exactly where you want to be stroked. Hmm? N don't bite me. You gracious cat. Here, I rescued this cat and he's now biting me. From you wild child. You were a wild child. Yes. <laughs> Definitely gracious. So, there we go. read a book with you distracting me. Hmm? Hmm? How is one meant to read a book? <laughs> I want to read my book, but you're not letting me. No.
sometimes it's just impossible to read your book when you've got a puppy in your lap and they just distract you totally. What can I say? <laughs> He's adorbs. The book I'm reading, I was given it. Oh, this is back to front. So the state of dark. I was given it by the publisher to read. So I'm reading it. It's rather dark. Holocaust related. Anyway, this is the book I'm reading. Oh, and you can't do musical chairs because the coat is in the way. Look at that smiley face. Look at that smiley face. Yeah, you want to be on my lap as well. Okay, I'm going to let you down because I want to read my book. You know, guys, can a girl just read her book every once in a while? Please? And drink her coffee.